Now in this episode of Watch Factor, we're actually gonna do something a little different today. We're actually headed to the Chelsea market to hit Warren and Wound's wind up shop. Now this is a space where the up and coming brands, the micro brands, the, the boutique brands that don't really get a lot of radio play and chance, get a chance to highlight their pieces. Today on the Watch Factor. engineering job to start a watch brand which is you know what i did yeah <laughs> oh man wow but also like you know sort of locals quote unquote sort of see visitors as interesting and unexpected in some way and that's what i kind of wanted my designs to speak to you know not not sort of look like other watches out there you know have have their own design language yeah definitely beautiful thank you very much my word of the week that's intense <laughs> So all these watches share like a, a writing inspiration behind their design. So like these, the shapes of the, the hour hand and the uh, minute hand are inspired by fountain pen nibs. Mm. So like if you look at like the, the hour hand there, you can see that there's a little slit right at the end, just yep. like the, the slit on a pen nib. Um, and then so the, the dials are finished with this semi-gloss treatment that's made to be reminiscent of wet ink. So that's kind of the, the look that we're going for is like, fountain pen nibs over a over a ink you know wet ink ink blot and then so yeah the elongated hour markers are supposed to be like ink drops and there's like that that theme just sort of like translates through other design decisions you know like you can look at these lugs and imagine if this lug gap was shrunk down to like one millimeter that shape would again look kind of like a pen nib you know gotcha yeah these guys yeah have a have a curved case back so they, they, fit, they sit really comfortably on the wrist. Um, and they're curved, the case back is curved north-south. 
But then also the mid case is curved east west. If you look, that's like how that mid case bends down. Um, so that when it when this sits on your wrist, right, and like you kind of flex your wrist this way, then your wrist isn't digging into the case. Was that like feedback from collectors, or just something you picked up and just, saw and noticed? Yeah, yeah, just just my own. Uh, Ergonomic iterations, you know, to, to get to the... That's the engineering sure. background yeah, coming exactly. into the, yeah, to the yeah. watch. Yep. <laughs> wow, that's sick. Yeah, thank you. And then the, uh, the clasp has that same faceted cushion shape as the case. So front to back, you kind of get that design symmetry. Yeah. What would you say case size is about a 44? 44, yep, you got it. Yep. How long have you been designing watches for? 20 years. 20 years? Oh, wow. And are you still, are you based out of Israel or? The brand name, where's that coming from? <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at you. I have the L on, the E L L A. I like it. No, Stella means store in Latin. So, okay. Um, you know, his original inspiration when I got the decided to create the watch. Do you mind if I take a picture? You should take one of these cards. In a funny way, the store for me is Stella. Yeah. 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 Yeah.